Welcome to the Designing the Row Squarespace store setup series. This is just one video of many where I teach you how to set up your Squarespace store from start to finish. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, and I'm also a Squarespace expert, Squarespace authorized trainer, and Squarespace Circle member. So if you are looking for help building your Squarespace website, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Printful account, create merch products and design merch products, and then also how to connect your Printful account to your Squarespace site so you can sell those products on your website. So after you've created your Printful account, you'll see a screen similar to this. So once you've obviously signed up for Printful and confirmed your email, the next step is to create a product template. So I'm going to start there and walk you through all the process. You can see I've already done a couple product templates. I did these a few months ago, but now I'm actually ready to make this store. So I'm going to start here again. So I'm going to click create more product templates. And you can see all the categories that they have here. I'm going to click into women's clothing and I'm going to go into crop tops here. I've already made a basic t-shirt. Uh, so now I'm going to do a crop top. And you can see here, obviously, a preview of all of the products. You can see the price that these start at. So depending on how you customize them, the price might go up a little bit. And you can see the colors of each shirt that they come in, the sizes that are offered, and then where these products ship. So I'm going to go in on this Bella and Canvas crop here. And... You can see here are the colors. I'm going to keep the black, but you can also select olive and have um, both colors of your shirt. And you know what? I kind of like that olive color. It's not really on brand for me, though, so I might pass on it. Um, and then white. So if you just because you select a new color doesn't mean you're unselecting the other. So definitely keep that in mind. If you just want the one color, just make sure it's the only one checked. For this, I'm going to go with black. And then I'm going to come into design and choose file. And then I'm going to choose this logo I've already uploaded into Printful. And it's telling me to use a larger image. Let's see if I make it smaller, if it will let me use it. There we go. I didn't want it all the way across the shirt anyways. Um, I'm gonna turn this grid off kind of move that up a little bit till it looks the way I like it. Uh, I think that's, I mean, it's pretty simple just putting a logo on a t-shirt. I think that's pretty cute. Let's see. And then you can see over here the tabs kind of above her face here. You can even customize the back. You can customize, make an out, outside label and also customize the inside label. Uh, these additions do make the price of the shirt go up. So just depending on how much profit you want to make and what you want to set the price at to sell it to your customers depends on if maybe you should add these or not. I'm honestly going to keep mine super simple. Just put the logo on the front of the shirt. So I am going to click continue and women's crop tee. I'm going to call that Music Biz Besties, Women's Crop Tea, and maybe I should call it Besties, obviously Women's <laughs> Besties Crop Tea, and add sizes, extra small, small, medium, and large, and then I'm going to save product template. And then you can see it's already generated a, a cute photo for me there. Let's see. I think that should obviously help you um, just at least show you how to set up the one product. So let's go on to the next step. The next step here is to connect your store. So I just came back to my printful here. Connect your store. I'm going to click in there. And then you can see Squarespace is here. So I'm going to choose platform and I'm going to click to connect Squarespace. I'm going to connect. 
It'll prompt me to log into Squarespace with my many websites here. Let's see, where's mine? <laughs> oh, these are in alphabetical order, I think. I'm going to connect it to this one and allow. Sign in. Connect store to my email. And then there we go. So now let's add the product and under my product templates, I'm going to add this crop tee here and then proceed to mockups. And then you can click through these and see the various mockups that they will give you. Um, I might do several of these. Okay, I'm going to <laughs> delete that, and that is not something I would say, and none of that's really important. <laughs> um, I'll go back in the website side and edit that a little later, but you can see here is where you can turn it on and off to actually publish it in your store. Um, my store is over here under not listed so even though it'll go live it's not really visible to anybody else yet um, so I'm going to proceed to pricing let's see I haven't even really thought of this so let's see let's change this to I don't know, maybe I like 22. Oh. Just kidding, we'll keep it like that. Sure, sounds great. Submit to store. And then now you can see it is added. Um, so the next step, it says you can sync them now or sync them as they come in. Um, but once it's turned on, all of the orders are automatic and synced and it's really magical actually. <laughs> um, let's see. So I'm gonna come over here to store and there it is. If this video tutorial was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any further questions, you can leave them for me in the comments. And as this is a series, I will leave the next video for you right here. And don't forget that over at designingtheroad.com, I have more tips and resources on how you can build and grow your online presence.